Hey folks, um, I wanted to give you a quick uh, chat and demonstration on uh, the difference between a bushcraft uh, axe or hatchet versus a carving axe. So here's an axe that uh, similar to one that I saw on the weekend being sold as a carving axe. Um, it's not really a carving axe. It looks pretty. Um, it will do the job at a pinch. Uh, but to have a good experience with carving, you want to have a different bevel. So this one here has a convex grind, um, which means rounded. So it's rounded going from the front towards the back. Um, the idea behind a bushcraft axe or hatchet is that it's meant to go into seasoned wood and split it. So as it goes into the wood, it pushes the wood out and away. Whereas a carving axe, say for instance, this one here, which is a flat grind, is designed to cut and slice, so go into the wood. Um, I've got a little demonstration here. So the optimal uh, angle of a carving axe is around about 30 degrees inclusive. So that's two sided, 15 degrees, 15 degrees on either side makes you 30. So it's a flat grind. We've also got a flat over hollow. So that is essentially the same as the flat here, but because it's been done on a wheel, picture this is your wheel on a sharpening stone, like a water stone, it's going to create a concave section here. You don't want to do completely concave as demonstrated here because you'd end up with a really fine edge which would break and crumble and bend and fold over um, if you're carving any sort of wood pass balsa um, so what we do is we grind that hollow here and then we put on a on a um, on a sharpening stone or um, abrasive paper on glass when we put that flat back in so when you're sharpening later on you're just touching that edge and that edge same on the other side and what I was talking about with a convex grind that's it here so it ends up with these shoulders so as you carve into the wood those shoulders push the wood away and out which splits it um, which is not ideal for carving. Later on the video, I'm going to show you carving with this axe, how it carves in its current state with the convex grind. I'll then jump onto the Tormek. I won't bore you with that part um, and put a flat over hollow onto it and I'll show you the difference of how they carve.